So Harley Benton have just released their brand new range of SC3 custom guitars. These are like a more modern contemporary take on the classic single cut design. The SC3 customs are a little bit more geared towards kind of modern players. So some of the range have 24 frets, some of them have active pickups. They're basically like a modern take on the classic single cut design. You know, you've got like recessed neck heels and all that sort of stuff. They are really great if you're playing sort of like high gain rock or metal stuff as well. And in this box, I've got one of the guitars from that range. So we're gonna open this thing up and see what's inside. The one that should be in this box is the active model. So it's the single cut with active pickups. And price wise, that comes in at around about 260, 270 pounds, something like that. So it's an incredibly competitively priced guitar. So if you're in the market for something that's, you know, great for high gain modern playing, it's quite hard to fault at that price. Well, let's crack it open and see what's in that. Now, this is not going to be the full length demo of this guitar. That's going to be coming up very soon on the channel. Today, I'm just going to be cracking this thing open, seeing what's inside and getting some first impressions of the guitar. So let's get this thing open. Now, if you've watched any of my other Harley Benton unboxing videos, you'll know that most of the stuff always comes out of the box pretty good. The cool thing with Harley Benton is they offer you some pretty good specs for not a great deal of money. And with a lot of guitars in that price range, and especially Harley Benton's, if you're looking for something that can, you know, fill a certain job for you, but you're willing to invest a little bit of time in, you know, maybe setting it up, putting some new strings on it, sometimes maybe doing a little bit of fret work, you can actually end up with a really good guitar for not a lot of money. Now, from my experience, typically these have always come out of the box pretty good, pretty much ready to go. I've needed to do very little adjustment to them. I have obviously heard from other people that they've done a lot of adjustment and other people that have taken them out of the box and taken them straight on gigs, you know. So obviously when you're buying a guitar in this price range, you do have to understand that these are produced in huge quantities. And as such, there are going to be a few, you know, less than desirable setups that slip through the net. But then on the other hand, there's going to be some that kind of exceed expectations. So you have to enter into buying a guitar in this price range with that in mind. You're not going to get a £3,000 setup straight out of the box because it's a guitar that costs less than £300. So as long as you know that before you open one of these boxes, you kind of set your own expectation levels. But that's not to take away from what the brand actually are because I actually think Ali Benton makes some great stuff. And I, I say this every time I do a Benton video, but I really wish guitars like this were around when I started playing because to have access to something like this at that price range when I was a new player would have been incredible. But when I was starting out, you know, in the early 2000s and anyone watching this video that started playing around the same time will attest to this, you didn't have much choice unless you were willing to spend a lot of money on something. You really didn't have much choice as a new player. You had to either have a really terrible guitar or spend a lot of money to get something decent. So to have, you know, affordable guitars that play great and sound great, Kind of the dream. Okay. So, one thing I have noticed straight away is they've actually included some strap locks in this, which is a really nice touch. These are the sort of ones that attach to your strap and then they lock in place on the guitar strap button and then you release them by pulling the end. That's a really nice touch, the fact that it comes with these because that's just a nice little bonus feature. A lot of people put strap locks on the guitars, so to have them included, is a very, very nice touch. Now, this is actually my first Harley Benton guitar unboxing for maybe like a year now. And the first thing I've noticed is this is actually different packaging. This has actually got this kind of clear plastic sleeve on, which they don't normally have. And it's kind of noisy, but you know, we're taking that off anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I can see through the packaging that the guitar here is the guitar that I knew they were sending me as well. And there it is. Wow. It's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. So this is the SC3 Custom Active. So this is, you know, very reminiscent of like an ESP Eclipse kind of vibe. It's a single cut. It's 
got a bit more of a point here on the bottom. It's a bit thinner than your typical single cut. And it's got things like, you know, body cuts and calves and everything to kind of make it a little bit more modern and contemporary. It's got active pickups and 24 frets as well, which is quite nice. So, yeah, that looks really great, actually. That matte black finish actually looks, dare I say, perfect. I know, like, matte finishes are quite hard to do, and I've seen some matte finishes on, you know, some semi-affordable guitars that have not been great. But, yeah, out of the box, that's actually, it's actually pretty flawless, to be honest with you. And... Wow, the edge of the frets is spot on. The frets are actually rounded off a little on the edges as well, which again, you never see in a guitar this price. That's actually kind of a premium feature. You can actually feel as you run your finger up the neck that the edges have just kind of been rounded with a file, which is something that you would, you know, you would expect if you were spending like 1500 pounds on this guitar. You don't expect that for £270. So I'm not going to go super spec heavy in this video, but this guitar is made from a wood called Moranti. Now, that's a wood that I've never actually experienced in a guitar build before. And to be honest with you, I don't really know anything about. So a quick Google search has led me to a website which kind of explains what that wood is. And it's a wood that's indigenous to Southeast Asia. Now, this guitar is made in Indonesia. So obviously the reasons for choosing Moranti is going to be that it is a very readily available local hardwood. It's also known as Philippine mahogany. So what that tells me is that it has kind of similar properties to mahogany. Now I'm by no means an expert on, you know, different woods from regions of the world, but that's my sort of assumption there based on what I've read. It's readily available in that part of Southeast Asia and it probably shares quite a similar thing with mahogany. So the body and neck of this are made from Moranti. So obviously if you're buying a two grand version of this guitar, you'd probably expect those to be made from mahogany itself. We've got a roasted Jatoba fretboard with a nice flat radius. Uh, I'm not sure what the exact radius is at this point, but it feels quite modern. And we've got 24 stainless steel frets, which is a nice touch. Still sticking to the 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length. This guitar also has a pair of Tesla active humbuckers. They're quite shiny there because they've still got the plastic coating on, which I will take off by the time I do the full length demo. And at the headstock end, we've got a set of Grover tuners as well, which is a nice kind of premium feature there. Nice quality tuners always go a long way. So yeah, I don't actually own a guitar with active humbuckers until now, which is the reason I asked Harley Benton for this particular model when they asked me if I'd be interested in checking something from the range out. So I'm looking forward to kind of, you know, getting into active humbuckers myself. It's something I've never really experienced or explored before, so I'm going to have some fun playing around with this as well. With them being active humbuckers, obviously we've got the 9 volt battery compartment on the rear. The idea for a lot of people that you have to put batteries in your guitar for the humbuckers to work can be slightly off-putting if you've never gone down the active road before but you know a good set of active pickups should give you hours and hours and hours of playing time it's not the sort of thing that you're gonna have to change the battery every gig you should get a lot of mileage from a good battery and a set of active humbuckers but yeah i mean to be honest first impressions are very very good um harley benton are a brand that you know i've said this before on video and i'll say it again for the record they keep exceeding my expectations. I've been working with them now for probably about four years, and every time they've sent me something, I've noticed the quality has consistently increased. And this is actually a testament to that, because this is actually, out of the box, even better than the last guitar that I had from them. And to be honest with you, this actually kind of feels like, I mean, those frets are super smooth. There's no kind of resistance on them. There's no kind of gritty feeling. This literally feels like I could take it out right now and play it live. Everything kind of feels nice and solid. Yeah, first impressions are really good. So I'm going to be doing a full length demo of this thing very, very soon where we break down all the specs and hear everything this thing can do. In the meantime, if you've played one of these or you've got one of these, anyone from the range, whether it's the active one or not, I'd love to hear what you guys think of it. So let me know down below in the comments. Keep checking back because the full length demo for this will be going up very, very soon. Thank you to the guys at Harley Benton for sending this over. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this because it's my first active guitar. Thank you guys so much for watching as always as well. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel because that helps me to keep growing the channel. And obviously, if you enjoyed this video, 
please hit the like button as well because that greatly helps me too. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Let me know what you think of this guitar if you've played one or even if you're curious about one, let me know what you think about the visuals or whatever else. And if there's anything you'd like me to address in the full length video, any questions you might have, let me know those down below in the comments as well. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I'll see you very soon.